So this is where it all began. The OG of the Poco brand, the Pocophone F1, the master of speed. Two years later, we witnessed something powerfully cool with the F2 Pro, followed by the Poco X3 and the M3, and most recently, the X3 Pro, which was everything you needed and more. This is the Poco F3. What is up friends of YouTube and welcome back to the channel. And this right here is the Poco F3 experience. First things first is the unboxing. Okay, so removing the top portion of, we get to have a welcome letter from the man behind the machine, which is always a nice touch. A welcome packet that contains this image ejector tool, some Poco stickers, the user guide and manual, and a complimentary jelly case. In addition, we have a 33 watt fast charger included in the box, a USB Type-C cable for charging data transfer, and a 3.5 millimeter USB Type-C dongle, should you prefer to plug in a wired accessory to your F3. So here's the device itself with some key specifications, such as the latest Snapdragon 870 processor running the show with 5G support, 120Hz refresh rate, a 6.67 inch AMOLED display with Dolby Atmos dual speakers with X-axis linear motor, as well as a triple camera configuration equipped with a 3 microphone system for clear and rich audio capacity. Taking the wrapper off, we get to see the sexy black colorway, which is my personal favorite, as it has this premium design language, considering it comes in Google Glass 5 both front and back, which gives a great feel in the hand experience overall. Of course, there's also a white and blue variant, but this is my weapon of choice in terms of color options. Alright, so for a quick rundown with the hardware features, we have the left side completely bare. Towards the right, we have the volume rockers and a convex power button that doubles as a fingerprint scanner. Up top, we have a secondary speaker, noise cancelling microphone, and the iconic IR blaster. Down at the bottom, we have a primary microphone, speaker grills, USB Type-C port, and a SIM card tray that houses two nano SIM cards. Around back, we have a triple camera configuration where it comes with a 48 megapixel primary lens, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 5 megapixel tele macro lens with an LED flash. And in front, we have a 20 megapixel front facing camera in the form of a punch hole in this dot display. Taking pictures on the Poco F3 is a sure win, capturing a good amount of detail, be it from the front or the rear, perfect for those looking to get the most value for money, especially for social media sharing purposes, or just the day-to-day -day selfies to feature your OOTDs. The camera system of the Poco F3 also comes with the same features as seen on the Poco X3 Pro, namely the night mode, 48 megapixel mode, short video, panorama, vlog mode, slow motion, time lapse, dual mode, clone mode, as well as a pro mode for those who prefer to take beautiful photos in a more natural sense. Okay, so during the unboxing segment, I've mentioned the F3 comes with a complimentary jelly case, and I've been using this as my daily driver over the past two weeks. And as you can see, it's showing signs right off the bat. So I opted to go for a more rugged and protective case. True enough, it hides the beauty of the F3, but on the flip side, it protects your device from unwanted scratches and dents should the unexpected occur. Speaking of protection, the F3 also comes with a pre-installed screen protector. Now this is a very nice touch, but I'd strongly recommend two things. Either you ditch this and enjoy that glass to skin experience, which I personally go for since it is covered in Gorilla Glass 5, or you can take the more cautious approach and get a tempered glass. Now do note however, most tempered glass products doesn't cover the display as a whole. For some stupid reason, it only covers 90% of the screen, which is just straight up weird considering the glass of the Poco F3 is not curved, but flat. Now on a side note, the fingerprint scanner on the right side of the device is one of the most accurate that I've tested as it worked 99% of the time. Just make sure your fingers aren't wet. The Poco F3 also comes in stereo speakers, a 4520mAh battery with support for 33W fast charging, comes in two configurations of either 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage, 8GB of RAM, and 256GB of storage like what we have here. The F3 comes in Android 11 out of the box with MIUI 12 running the show, as well as a 120Hz refresh rate paired with a 360Hz touch sampling rate for more accuracy along with a few display technologies on board giving you the most feature rich display on a smartphone at this price point with the inclusion of dark mode since this comes with an AMOLED display. Game Turbo is a home based application which enhances the experience when playing games. Personally, I have never really paid attention to this app until recently when I got my hands on the X3 Pro and the F3. The experience in playing games is a lot more immersive and fun as it allows you to tweak certain settings that not only gives you an edge in playing games but also enhances the overall experience, giving you everything you need when gaming on the F3. Now, one other cool feature that I've discovered is the video toolbox. Swiping from left to right gives you a floating window which gives you actions such as record certain clips take screenshots, or even cast it on your Mi Box. It also has the ability to change the viewing mode from full screen to picture in picture if you want to multitask, as well as utilize other apps on the go while binge watching on your favorite shows. Obviously, these are features that have been made available in past Xiaomi, Redmi, and Poco devices, but having to utilize these on a device that comes with a flagship performance is just a joy to experience all around. 
In terms of gaming, the Poco F3 obliterates competition with the Snapdragon 870 processor paired with the Adreno 650 GPU plus 8GB of RAM along with a high refresh rate and touch sampling rate, Call of Duty Mobile feels so much like an actual high-end PC game. Here's a quick demonstration on Call of Duty Mobile multiplayer mode gun game. Enjoy. Now Genshin Impact is considered to be the benchmark of high-end gaming because of its cell shaded texture and visually stunning elements. As seen here, the Poco F3 is capable of maxing out every single graphic setting despite experiencing a bit of internet latency, the game still feels very fluid and amazing. Now I've encountered games like this in the past on gaming consoles, and to be able to get this much graphics on a device that is just a fraction of a price of what other brands are priced at, the Poco F3 decimates the competition, switching from characters to casting skills or literally just running around the open world world map of Genshin Impact indeed is such an enjoyable experience. Now I did encounter the device temperature to get a little warm, but it's not to the point that it gets uncomfortable when playing extended hours. Now one thing worth mentioning though is that the screen gets a little bit dim, but this is not exactly an issue. This is more of a failsafe for users. Considering the Poco F3 has so much tech built into the display, it is just ideal to include failsafes so users won't encounter any problems in the future. I mean iPhones also have this failsafe feature, but it is a lot more aggressive whereas the screen gets so dim that you'd be forced to stop playing unlike the Poco F3, where it only drops by 10% and you can still game without the device overheating. So after an extended period of time using the Poco F3, I can honestly say this is indeed worthy of being called a flagship. It brings you a lot to desire at an affordable price, and even if it is this cheap, it still brings a lot of value for the money. Side by side with the Poco X3 Pro, personally, you can't really tell the difference in real world use, but for me, I'd go for the Poco F3 as this device resonates with me more as a consumer and a tech enthusiast. Considering this device is priced below $400 to $500, I can't really think of any competitor in the market that can beat this device. Probably in pricing, but overall performance, I have yet to see any. 
this is really the real beast in terms of price, value, specs, and design. Now, if you did enjoy this long-term review video and you want to see more tech reviews and unboxing videos in the future, do consider subscribing to the channel. Now, if you want to get your very own Poco F3, links are in the description down below. Thanks for watching. This is Chris once again from Crisis Point, and I'll catch you in the next.